Um, just hold on one second here. I'm trying to get this other one started too. Uh, will it see if it'll actually work or not? Huh. Well, I'll continue to mess with that for just a minute. But hi guys, welcome back to another episode of Chalking with Baby Cakes. Thanks you, thank you for joining in today. Today, um, I don't know if you saw the picture I just posted not too long ago, but it was had some garden fairies on it. Um, and the saying is, don't piss off the garden fairies. So, um, that's what I'm going to be making today. I'm still trying to get this, my Instagram to go live. Hmm. That's weird. Let me just get it all set up again. Go live on Instagram. Let's see here. And if it doesn't work, then I guess I just won't go live on Instagram. So I don't know why it's doing that. Does anybody have any uh, tips with that? All right, so we're not even going to worry about live with Instagram today then. But I will try to upload it to Instagram TV later on, so this way you can see it. All right, so today, I am going to be making a custom stencil. I know you can't see me. You can see my hands. Hi. Um, you can't see me because of the way I have the, um, the camera angled. Um, but we are going to be making some stencils or one stencil. And it's from a live request or a request that I had for a uh, chalk and talk that I'll be ha hosting. Well, actually, I won't be hosting it. Uh, it will be hosted next Saturday at 1 o'clock at Wine Antiques and More. Um, my host will be Lindsay Decker. She will be hosting it for me. So that's what I'm doing today. I'm, I'm making this, uh, don't piss off the garden fairies. So I'm going to go through a little bit of the process of what I do. So here's the, here's the stencil that I'm going to be making. I'm going to go through the process of what I do to make this. Um, let me just share this. Sorry guys. Um, if you can hear my puppies in the in the background, um, they are excited because uh, my husband and my daughter just went outside. We are in uh, central Missouri here and uh, we're getting snow. Snow and ice and yuckiness and coldness and so I'm staying inside. Um, Dreaming of garden fairies because I am ready for some spring. I don't know. Are you guys ready for spring yet? Are you done with this chilly cold weather? I I really 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 truly am so um, I'm gonna go through the process like I was saying I'm gonna go through the process of how I Do a design so what it was is one of my friends who will be attending the Chalk and Talk on Saturday requested that um, I make a sign saying don't piss off the garden fairies um, for her garden area. So I went ahead. So I used my Icon Art Stencil Maker. Um, actually, I'm just going to talk to you guys and then I'll put this back. Hi, it's so good to see you guys. Um, so I use an Icon Art Stencil Maker, and that's what I have over here. If you see, the, this is the, the photo film. Um, I use it um, to make all my custom stencils. Um, I bought it a couple, oh, about six months ago, and I love it. I love the fact that I can make custom stencils. It's really easy. So I just opened up Word and uh, typed out the words I wanted and put it in the font. Um, if I wanted a different font, and it's not one of the standard fonts, I can go to, uh, hi, Serena, thanks for checking in. Um, if, I, if I want a specific font, I can go to uh, some w websites called like What the Font and other different font websites, and I can buy them and download them or get some free ones or whatever and, um, and go ahead and, and load them to my computer and then use those as well. Um, I don't use the Cricut Design Space uh, to make my stencils um, just because, well, not my, not my reusable silkscreen stencils, just because I honestly, I haven't figured out how to get it printed from my Cricut to my regular printer so I can print it out. I'm struggling with that and I just, I, so I'm not doing it. <laughs> not yet at least. So um, yeah, there's that. 
so what I do is I just do it in Word um, if, if it's like another file. So I did buy for Christmas, I wanted to make custom t-shirts for me and my girls. So I, I found a, a file called uh, I Want a Hippopotamus for Christmas. I purchased it off of Etsy so I didn't have to design it myself. I purchased it, purchased it off of Etsy and then I went ahead and got the JPEG version of it so I could print it out um, on my printer because you have to print it out on, and this is the inkjet printer film. And I use the inkjet because obviously that's what I have. Um, or you could go ahead and if you have a laser jet, you can print it out on the laser jet. So if you see, well, you can't see, but filling here. Oh, Katie, thank you. Because let me tell you, I, I so I can do it. I can print on my Cricut. I just can't print from my, um, on my regular printer. It's weird. I, I, I haven't put too many brain bites in it though. Um, hi, Jen. Thanks for checking in. So here, um, the, this paper, this, uh, gosh, I can't remember what it's called because, yeah, this paper, this, the inkjet printer film is what they call this. Um, it's kind of tacky on one side and on the other side it's nice and uh, not tacky, um, just nice and slick. And you want to print it on the tacky side because that's what helps um, get it, make it a dark, dark, dark um, black because you want a dark black so uh, design. So it will go ahead and um, do this right. I, I'm having troubles with words, I'm so sorry. So if you see, um, I have these little fairies up here. So this is gonna be interesting for me because this is the first time that I've seen, that I've done it to where like the fairies are just a grayish color and not a blackish color. So I don't know how they're gonna come out. So we're gonna, this is gonna be a trial and error. Um, if we don't have those fairies on there, I can just make another stencil with them on it um, to use for this. And then I, I figure you put like little uh, whirly gigs down here and little flowers in the background. And I think that would be absolutely adorable. So let's get to, let's get to getting it. So here, this is the Icon Art Stencil Maker. Oh, I'm gonna turn you back around because now you can only see me. Here we go, let's turn you back around. I do not have to mirror it, Katie. Um, I just print it out um, the regular way and then it will, I'll show you how I have to layer it to make it um, get on this emulsion paper. So this is photosensitive film, and I have to keep it in a sealed package. Um, I have to keep it in the sealed package away from the sun because if it gets sunlight on it, it will expose it, and then your, your paper is going to be bad. Your photo paper is going to be bad. So I'm going to seal this back up, and that's why it looks kind of dark. Well, I guess it, it might not look so dark because I've got the window right over there. But here's the photosensitive paper. So one side is shiny, and that's the back of it. And then this side is the sign that side that it's going to be burned into. And that's got kind of a little bit of a texture to it. So um, on this, my dogs, um, so they have this black mat that you put down on the Icon Art Stencil Maker first um, to help uh, get rid of any type of glare. Um, then you put your film right there. And then you just put, right, so I'm just going to put this right on correctly. And I know this doesn't, um, this looks backwards to you guys, um, but it's really not. It's just because, I don't, don't think this is weird, but um, I find it easier to go live if I'm looking at myself because I feel like I'm actually talking to somebody. Eh, weird, I know, I'm crazy. So you just put this on here just the normal way. So as I'm looking at it, it actually the words are correct. The words are in the right way. They're not upside down, backwards, or anything like this. Now, the Icon Art Stencil Maker, it, it does not, and there's a film over top of it as well. It's just a clear, like, plastic, uh, plexiglass type sheet. Now, the Icon Art Stencil Maker does not have an on-off button. So what, um, oh, thank you, Katie. That would be awesome. Um, it does not have an on off button. So what I what they suggest to do and what I found the easiest thing to do is that you go ahead and you plug it into one of these little uh, 
the power strip so you can turn it on. Now you're going to want to go 30 seconds. So I don't have my timer, but I'll go 30 seconds. So you need to uh, have the UV light on for 30 seconds. So here we go. Look, so there it's going. So this is honestly, this is how easy it is to make this. So we're going to go 30 seconds. Um, and I'll just talk to you while we're doing this. So 30 seconds. And then after that's done, what we'll do is I'll turn my little ticket around here. See, I tried to keep it out of the way. And then we're going to rinse off and I'll, I'll move the, the, uh, the camera closer so you can see, uh, how I do it. But we just kind of rinse it off really good, um, and get all the emulsion portion off of the stencil. Um, so the silk screen portion is there and then the blue will still stay on the portions that you don't want the chalk paste to get through or whatever paste you want to use. Um, so I think it's been probably about 30 seconds. What do you guys think? Anybody, anybody? Now, let's see. Um, I'll give it one more second. You can't overdo it and that's the cool thing. So after this is done, after we get it all, um, get all the portion that has been UV'd off of here, then you go ahead and you let it dry. So if you see, I've got, I put it on this little clipboard. If you look, it doesn't look like it did anything, does it? That's what drove me crazy the first time I did it. I'm like, is it really, really, really working? Well, let me tell you, it is. So... I'm going to turn my faucet on here. And I have this toothbrush. It is a soft-sided toothbrush just to help me out in the event that I need it. And you want to go a little... Let's see, here. Let's see if I can get that down there. Oop! Without dropping my phone. So I'm just going to let that run on that real quick while I fix the phone. I don't want my phone dropping in the water. That'd be bad. Okay. So I don't know if you can see this or not, but it's already starting to come off. I, I can see it because I'm right here. So you just want to get it, you have to get it right where all the, your words were. And this is why I also have the, I have the toothbrush because that helps get it off a little bit quicker. And I'm just doing this very because you don't want to do it wet. I think I need to have it. There we go. A little bit warmer water. Um, you want to keep it, you don't want it hot water and you don't want it cold water. You want it kind of warm. And I don't know if you guys can see that. I hope you can. This is the Icon Art stencil maker, and this is perfect if you want to make your own reusable silk screen stencils. So I'll be, we'll be able to reuse this stencil um, about 10, 12, 10 times, um, depending, of course, how how much you take care of it. Um, it goes along with all my other silk screen stencils that I use um, for my workshops. See, you see that how that's just coming out, perfect. I am interested, though, to see how the fairies will come out. They may not have gotten, they may not have uh, worked well. So if that's the case, then I'll just make them separate. Um, in the picture, if you saw, they were pink and not black. Because um, they were actually a file that I downloaded from a place that I can get different um, already made designs. So I just went ahead, um, went ahead and got that and chopped it up a little bit to put on. This is something that's great for because now that I know that I can't do the different colors on here, it has to be black because those fairies are not coming out at all. I can't even see. Nope. So the fairies didn't work, so I'm going to have to make them separate and make them uh, actually black. So that's good to know. So that's a, that's a really good tip. So 
So Icon Art, um, Katie, is actually relatively new. Uh, I only heard about it um, through one of the other groups I'm in, and they were saying how they made their uh, they made their own custom logo stencil so they could put their their logo on things, um, and so they they put the put the information about this Icon Art. And I bought one. Um, the great thing is, is Icon Art also offers a affiliate program. So I am a, an affiliate with Icon Art. And uh, if you're ever interested in purchasing one, um, I can help you out with that. Get you some money off and get me, get me some money for it too. So if you see, there it is. Isn't that cool, Angie? It's just, it makes it so much fun. Um, so now what I do with this, you have to let it dry because it's kind of sopping wet. So I'll take a, a dish towel. Ooh, and I got water all over my counters, which is what happens. So I just take a dish towel and I'm going to lay it on here real quick um, while I talk to you for a little bit more and uh, tell you some things. So what I do, so they do have a, uh, I'm going to fix you guys. Hi, I see you now. Um, so they have a dryer that you can use for the icon art. Um, so if you're making a lot of stencils um, and you want to uh, be able to make them quickly, um, say I wanted to mass pr produce them or whatever, um, they do have a dryer um, that I can put them in and it'll dry quickly. Honestly, what I do is I've got, you know, those little bread cl clips, the ones that um, have magnets on them that you, or bag clips that have magnets on them that you can put them on your refrigerator. I put those on my refrigerator um, with the with the design and I just hang it on my refrigerator and let it dry. Um, I let it dry for about two, three hours. It, it probably doesn't take that long, but I just kind of, I let it do its thing. And then afterwards, you have to go back and re-expose it um, with the stencil maker. You have to re-expose it for at least two minutes. And this is what makes a lot more sturdy. It'll make it uh, last a lot longer. Um, that That's a new thing that they came out with uh, about a month ago. Um, and I have found it has made our stencils, the stencils that I have made, um, a lot better. So all of that, all those good things, right? Um, so if you are coming to one of my workshops, which you need to come. Let me tell you, you need to come. It's a lot of fun. Um, you get to choose your design because I have got books upon books upon books of stencils uh, for you to choose from. Um, and I have a slew of different surfaces or you can bring your own surface with you. Um, go out on my uh, on my notes page and it gives you all kinds of different information, uh, frequently asked questions and all that kind of stuff is out there for you to uh for you to see. Um, let's see, I, I made a little list so this way I don't feel so chaotic. Um, so my Chalk and Talks, one of my workshops, I would love, uh, if you want one, um, I just need at least two weeks advance notice um, and it'll be a 10 to $15 charge depending on whether I'm creating it um, and designing it or if you're going to go ahead and uh, just send me a file with whatever it is that you want made. Um, so 10 to $15 depending on that. So just get a hold of me about two weeks ahead of time. So this way I have time because I do work full time. So I would like to uh, make sure that my schedule, I, I get that for you. Um, if it's not two weeks in advance, I can't guarantee I'm gonna have that for you. Um, Custom orders. Let's let's chit chat about custom orders for a second. I love custom orders. Um, I've done a couple uh, for the Christmas season, and well, more than a couple, but I've did a couple for the Christmas season, and I I love it. So if you guys have a design or something that you need, a gift, a birthday present, a wedding present. So guys, I came up with this idea. And I don't know, I've seen it before and uh, I've seen different people do it different ways. And I was thinking of trying this. So I'd love to hear what you have to think about what you have. <sighs> Can I talk? Um, I would love to hear what you think about this. I'm thinking of starting to make uh, latitude and longitude signs for addresses. So um, 
it, it kind of ties into what I do for my full-time job um, with uh, lat longs. Um, but I would love to see if you guys are interested in that. And basically, you would give me your address and I would go ahead and make the sign and we can put something like your name on there, um, established and then whatever date or um, or just the, the address with along with the lat long sign. So let me know what you think of that. I think that would be pretty cool. I'm, I'm going to make one for myself um, um, and just uh, see how it turns out and I'll, I'll, sh I'll share a picture with you. Um, I think that would be a pretty cool thing. Uh, what do you guys think? I'd, I'd love to hear your feedback on that. Um, a couple other things. Um, what do you want to see me go live on? I'd love to hear. Um, I've done chalking. I've done, uh, I've made rag, the little rag. Gosh, I, I don't even know what it's called. <laughs> the, the rag things. Oh, hey, honey, you did find it. Are you enjoying the cold weather out there? I, I know it's cold. Um, I'm, I, I'm glad you're outside with Haley and not me because I am not a snow person. Um, if anybody knows me, I am not a snow person, not anymore. I enjoy a nice temperate weather and uh, I don't want to go out in this yuckiness right now, um, which is why I'm doing this. <laughs> and uh, so, yeah, what do you want to see me go live doing? Uh, I've done the painting of some furniture, which I'm almost done with uh, both of the dressers and I would love uh, to maybe do some more. I'm thinking of doing our, uh, and I'm eyeing a lot, wow. I'm thinking of doing our bedroom furniture um, and seeing how that goes. Let's see what else. So Chalk and Talks. February schedule. If you are interested in hosting your own Chalk and Talk, I would love you. Um, I have out on my page a, a post with the dates that I have available. And if you want to host one your own, gather five people together and we will uh, go ahead and get you set up. Um, you will have to choose the place um, and coordinate all that information, provide any snacks or drinks if you're interested in doing that. Um, there are a couple places down here um, that will allow you to come in and do them. Um, so just contact me and I would love to help you um, get a group together. Um, birthday parties. I'm doing a birthday party tomorrow, y'all, tomorrow, um, for, for one of my little friends down here in Lincoln. And I am super excited Inking, Angie, you want to see me do some inking? I can definitely do that. Make a couple towels. Um, yeah, so let me know what you want me want to see me make on those towels, and uh, I will get that set up. It's super easy, super fun. Um, so birthday parties, uh, family get-togethers, mom and me, uh, girls' night out, um, company gatherings, whatever. I can do that. It, it'll be super easy, super fun. Um, it's really relaxing. Last night was such a fun night um, at Wine Antiques and More uh, with my two faithful ladies that came out to chalk with me. So that was awesome. I did a lot of consulting. Well, not a lot of wine drinking, but I drank. So that was always a lot of fun. So anyways, I'm, I'm talking your ear off. So I will uh, hop off of here. Thank you guys for tuning in. If you have any questions about uh, custom stencils, custom uh, orders, um, hosting your own Chalk and Talk, coming to one of mine, shoot me a message. Um, and I would love it too. If you've ever done anything with me, leave me a review on here. I, I would love to uh, hear what you have to say and uh, help me out, share out the video, um, give me a thumbs up, show me all your hearts. Um, yeah, I just, just all the good things, all right guys? Thank you so much for all of you guys, um, for continually tuning in with me and uh i look forward to a great 2020 all right you guys enjoy this uh cold weather if you're in the central part of the united states like we are all right bye-bye guys